Hi, um, welcome to my tutorial on how to navigate the Library of, Library of Congress Authority files. I'm just going to spend a few minutes walking through how to find the different types of access points that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks and um, all the clicking you have to do to get to what you need. So we'll start, once you get to the Library of Congress Authority site, you'll start by um, clicking on Search Authorities. And then if you want to do like a subject search, like you're searching for a topical heading or a geographic heading, you're going to start with the subject authority heading. So we'll just type in, we'll type in Beagles. And I should warn you, your spelling here, it needs to be right because it doesn't offer you like a did you mean kind of option. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we can see we've got beagles and all sorts of beagles. And I was looking for beagles with dogs. And here's the, the reference button. And that just means that that's not going to be the heading. Um, we're going to have to, it's going to take us to what the heading actually is. So we'll click on beagle dog breed. And uh, looking, when you see that button, the authorized heading, that is the heading that you do want to use in the 650. And yes, it's a lot of clicking. It's an awkward interface. So looking at the authority record, you can see that the 150, because uh, that's what that, in, in an authority file, that's what the authorized accept, act. The authorized access point is is in the 150 field, and then you can see the the 450s here, which are the ones you don't use. Uh, those are the use fours, and then you can see the 550, which is your broader heading here. It's hounds, and then the rest of this is just it's just kind of notes on beagles and. Uh, what sources they looked at to find the right term. It's mainly stuff you really don't need to, to focus on all that much. The important part is knowing what your authorized access, access point will be, which is this one right here. So let's go back and do another search. We'll do a geographic search. And let's just search for Flathead Lake. And again, that brings us to uh, a list of headings, and we've got some choices here. And the one I'm looking for actually is Flathead Lake, Montana. And this one's a little more straightforward. <coughs> Excuse me, we just are going to click through until we get to that record. And again, this is the um, authorized heading. You can see it down here in the 151. And this one doesn't have any 451s, but we do have that 550 for that broader term there. And again, the rest of this really isn't that important. It just tells you uh, the process, you know, they went through to establish this heading, what they looked at, and how they verified it. And so we'll go back and do another search. And this time we're just going to search for, we're going to search under the name authority headings. And again, this is where you search for personal names uh, and or corporate entities. So um, for a personal name, we're just going to search for, we'll search for Eleanor Roosevelt. Just see what happens. And again, you have to watch your spelling. And it is last name, first name. So again, we've got a lot of headings uh, for anything related to Roosevelt. And the one, of course, we want is Eleanor Roosevelt. And so just even looking at the screen, you know that this is your authorized access point, that this is the one you want to use in your 100 or your 600 or your 700, depending on what kind of cataloging you're doing. And again, and sometimes with people, um, they might direct you to a related name. Um, most of the time, I just ignore that and just go ahead and click on the authority record. And again, lots of clicks. 
So you can see, like, like the record for Theodore Roosevelt, it has a lot of fields uh, that you usually don't see. Um, we have the 400s here, the um, use froms, which just, you know, you don't use those. They're just other variations of her name. Um, we've got these 300s, which are kind of notes, note fields that just kind of talk about uh, a geographic location associated with her, um, what her gender was, what language she speaks, spoke, and, you know, kind of her role, which was she was FDR's wife. And then, of course, your authorized heading is that 100 right there. And down here, we have a 670, which is a biographical note in this case. And it just tells you a little bit more about the person. So if for some reason it's not clear from the record that this is the same person that you want to use, um, sometimes having this information here can be really helpful to help you make sure they're one and the same. So let's go back and we'll do another search. We'll do this one for a corporate heading. Um, I'm just going to do, let's see here. We'll just do the International Business Corporation, better known as IBM. And again, um, because this is just a very general search, we get a lot of different hits here and am I seeing the one I want? Here we go. International Business Machines Corporation. And um, you can see uh, we've got a choice of, you know, these references, which are the, you know, we don't want to use those, but we're going to go ahead and click here on the authorized references, which tells you um, that that's probably the record we want, that that's the authorized access point. And um, here again, they've given us some related headings that may be of interest. There's the earlier heading. We're just going to go ahead and click on the authority record link. And here's that record. And looking at the 110, you can see this is the authorized heading. Here are our four tens, just variations of the name and different languages. Again, you don't want to use these. We've got a 510. In this case, it's an earlier heading. And then just some notes, uh, descriptive information about IBM. Uh, sources they looked at when they were establishing these headings. And again, this, these 300 fields, just information about um, IBM itself, where it's based, um, that it's a firm. So let's go back and do another search. This one, we're going to do a series search. And we're going to search for Harry Potter. And this might be the one time where you type in what you see on the item itself. So we've got a couple of choices here and with series headings I find it really easy, like an easy way to kind of figure out which ones you want by going over here to this type of heading column and just, you know, if you see series title over here, chances are that's the one you want. So again, we're clicking through and this brings us to um, our authority record for Harry Potter and right here that 130 that's what you would put in the 830. So that I think is about it. If you've got questions after watching this go ahead and post them to the forum and we'll get those answered for you. And thanks.